Zelensky bad news. Even though Russia only has 1,500 troops stationed in Europe, bold Putin is already waging a hybrid war there. Russia is attempting to destabilize an Eastern European country that leans toward the West through hybrid warfare tactics. Experts believe Russia's next target will be the landlocked country of Moldova because of the striking similarities between Russia's actions in that country and those in Ukraine. Formerly part of the Soviet Union, Moldova is moving closer to the West, which may not sit well with Moscow. Despite having neutrality written into its constitution, Ukraine has begun to cozy up to NATO since its invasion in February of last year. Brussels officially recognized Moldova as a candidate for membership in the European Union in June 2022. Russian efforts to sway the Chisinau based nation back toward the east involve spreading false information and encouraging Moldovans to lose faith in their government. Transnistria, an unrecognized breakaway state near the border with Moldova and Ukraine, is home to some 1,500 Russian troops. He could take advantage of the instability and uncertainty created by the Kremlin's presence of troops within its borders and influence on the local population. University of Birmingham professor and international security expert Stefan Wolf told Sky News, having a base for its troops in Moldova has always given Russia an opportunity to exercise some pressure on Moldova. Russia has always been concerned that the former Soviet republics would become too Western-oriented. Putin appears to be engaging in what has been called hybrid warfare in Moldova, making an outright invasion unlikely given Russia's current difficulties in Ukraine. According to Professor Wolf, the majority of Moldovans want to move closer to Europe, which is something Russia is obviously trying to prevent, and it is using these hybrid warfare means to do so. To paraphrase one author, Moscow can then say, well, look, it's a pro-European government and see how that government has run the country into the ground. Power outages and price hikes have plagued the country of Moldova since the Ukraine conflict broke out, as the country relied heavily on Russian gas. This has led to widespread dissatisfaction with President Maya Sandu, and it appears that Russia is actively stoking the flames of this discontent through online disinformation and the assistance of Shore, a party with ties to Russia that has spearheaded many of the anti-government protests. The Shore party, supported by exiled oligarch Elon Shore, was banned by the Constitutional Court of Moldova in June 2023 after being labeled a threat to the constitutional order by President Sandu. The government of Moldova claims to have foiled an overthrow plot earlier this year and to have arrested seven men with Russian ties whom they believe were paid by Moscow to stir up unrest in the country. A local think tank keeping tabs on Russian interference warned that online disinformation has also been used to push Moldovans towards the east.